Hello, and welcome to Unova HRMS. In this video, we'll guide you through a step-by-step -step process to set up your account. Without any further ado, let's get started. Click on the Settings button at the top of the window. This will take you to the Set Up Your Account page. Scroll down and click on Start Now. Step 1. Set Company Information First things first, let's set up your company information and theme settings. This includes your organization's name, logo, employee strength, and industry sector and theme settings for a personalized touch. Additionally, you can customize the theme settings to match your organization's branding. Choose the colors for the left menu background, left menu link, primary button, and secondary button to create a cohesive look and feel for the Unova HRMS interface. Step 2. Set Data Fields and Masters Unova HRMS comes with a set of pre-configured data fields to get you started. These include fields for personal information, contact details, employment history, and more. View these default fields and decide if they meet your requirements. If not, continue to edit those as per your organization's current requirements. Master data refers to reference tables used within the system to organize and categorize employee data. Our HRMS offers pre-configured master tables, including designation master data, department master data, company master data and many more. You can select with the default setup or customize the masters according to your organization's structure and requirements. We recommend reviewing the default masters to ensure they align with your organization's hierarchy and making any necessary changes. We provide pre-configured templates for common letters such as offer letters, appointment letters, experience certificates, and more. Use these templates as is or customize them to reflect your organization's branding and language. Additionally, you have the option to create your templates to suit specific requirements by clicking on Add New Letter. These templates will be seamlessly integrated with other modules to automate the letter generation process. Step 3. Add employees now. Let's add employees to your HRMS and set their access control. First we talk about the user roles. Here, you can either use the default roles or create new ones tailored to your organization's structure. If you prefer simplicity and the default roles meet your needs, select Yes, use default user roles. This automatically applies to roles like admin, HR manager, and employee. Alternatively, if you need more control, choose No, define new user roles to create custom roles with specific details. You can also view default roles for reference by clicking View Default User Roles. Now that you've defined user roles, it's time to onboard your employees into the HRMS. You have three options for employee onboarding, import, use this option to import your employee database from a CSV file. The system provides a template for the import file, making the process seamless. Onboard employee, choose this option if you prefer to manually add employees to the system. We have detailed sections such as account information, basic information, bank or PF account information, and more. You'll need to input their details directly into the HRMS. Quick onboarding, this option offers a shorter version of the onboarding process, focusing on essential data input. By selecting the appropriate onboarding method, you can seamlessly transition employees into your system, facilitating smooth data management from the outset. Step 4. Set Leave Process Configure the overall process, workflow, and policies related to leaves to be allocated to your staff. Use default configurations or customize them according to your organization's policies. Opt for the default configurations by clicking on Yes, Use Default Configurations. Otherwise, set up your own leave configurations by accessing the View and Set Leave Configuration option. This allows you to customize various aspects of the leave management system according to your organization's requirements. Within Unova HRMS, default holidays are pre-configured for occasions such as Republic Day, Independence Day, and Gandhi Jayanti. Users have the option to either utilize these default holidays or add new ones to the calendar. By selecting Yes, Use Default Holidays, users can easily implement the pre-configured holiday schedule. Alternatively, 
Clicking Add Holidays opens a window titled Add Holiday, allowing users to specify additional holidays by entering the date, occasion, and type of holiday yearly, optional, or conditional. The default leave policy in Unova HRMS includes predefined leave types such as casual leave, sick leave, and maternity leave. Users can utilize these default leave types or add new ones as needed. Selecting Yes, Use Default Leave Types enables users to implement the predefined leave policy seamlessly. On the other hand, clicking Add New Leave Type opens another window, providing users the function to customize new leave types by adding relevant details. Additionally, review and edit the default leave rules by clicking View Default Leave Policy. Select Import Employee Leave Balance to efficiently import leave balance data from various sources or Excel spreadsheets. Alternatively, clicking Show Leave Balance Data provides users with immediate access to view the existing leave balance data of employees. Step 5. Set the Payroll Process Define your payroll configuration, structures, salary components, and more in this step. If you want to go with the default salary setup, Select Yes, use default salary setup, and align this process with preset configurations. Alternatively, select No, configure salary setup to tailor settings, including leave and salary structure data inclusion, default currency selection, and payslip template choices. Automation features like email distribution and payroll auto lock dates ensure efficiency and accuracy in managing payroll seamlessly. Next, you can fine-tune the salary components with three options like Use Default Components, Add Salary Components, or View Default. Click on Use Default Components to finalize the default settings for salary components. Click on Add Salary Components to configure salary heads as per your organization's requirements by filling in the details, such as, Title of the Salary Head, Short Code, Choose the type of this head from the drop-down menu, then select the category and toggle the status to publish it instantly. Close the window and move over to View Default, to overview all the existing salary heads like Quarterly Performance Bonus, Reimbursements, Loans, TDS, Special Allowance, Medical Allowance, and more at once. The page also highlights information related to salary heads codes, types, status, created by etc. here. Upload or download the entire list of salary components by clicking import or export buttons. Once you're done overviewing and configuring, click confirm and proceed. Customizing the organization's salary structure is essential for meeting specific payroll needs. With the option of use default structure, you can finalize the default settings in one click. Otherwise, Click on Add Salary Structure. The new window lets you add the structure name, Yearly CTC, Yearly Gross, Monthly CTC, Monthly Gross, add multiple earnings and deductions with the right formulae and amount and choose further configurations, such as, is the earnings a variable? Is it taxable? Whether you want to show it on the payslip? And many more scroll to find the keywords to use in the formulae for precision in creating accurate salary structures. You can also go back and click on View Default to overview the entire list of the salary structures existing in your UNOVA database. Edit these structures from this new window and find information related to each salary structure, such as, total earnings and deductions, status and created by, and many more you can add a new salary structure from the same window or download the entire list by clicking the export button for further processing. Setting up the Provident Fund Management System offers default configurations designed for efficiency and compliance. While default settings reflect industry best practices, users can further customize Provident Fund Setup by clicking No, Configure PF Setup for tailoring settings to meet specific organizational requirements while ensuring compliance and efficiency. ESIC Management Configuration and Unova HRMS offers default settings for seamless implementation. Otherwise, users can tailor ESIC management to ensure alignment with organizational requirements while maintaining compliance and efficiency. Users can choose default settings or customize them to meet specific organizational requirements for professional tax management. 
With these configurable components, organizations can streamline HR processes while ensuring compliance and efficiency, making Unova HRMS a valuable asset for managing payroll and related tasks. In the Unova HRMS system, setting up your investment declaration process is straightforward. To simplify the process with the default setup, select Yes, use default investment declaration setup. However, if you want to customize further, choose No, configure investment declaration setup, enabling advanced options for tailoring the investment declaration process to your specific needs. Step 6, set attendance process in this step, we'll learn to configure the attendance management system in your Unova instance for seamless synchronization with the biometric system in just a few clicks. The virtual biometric system offers an alternative to physical biometric devices, ideal for managing remote teams like sales or business development associates. You can opt to implement this system by selecting Yes, use virtual biometric system. Clicking View and Configure prove S access to various configuration fields, while selecting No, don't use virtual biometric system indicates your preference not to utilize it at this time. With the physical biometric system integration, you have the option to set up a physical biometric system for attendance management. By selecting click here to know about the process, you'll be redirected to detailed guidelines on integrating your biometric machine with Unova HRMS. Alternatively, choosing no, don't set up a physical biometric system indicates your decision not to integrate a physical system presently. Managing attendance becomes simple with flexible configuration options. Opting for yes, use default attendance configuration applies predefined settings seamlessly, while selecting no, set up attendance configuration grants access to customize attendance rules as per your organization's policy. Managing late marks is made simple and flexible with our HRMS system. Opting for yes. Default policy applies predefined configurations seamlessly, while selecting No, configure late marks tardiness policy allows for tailored adjustments aligning with organizational policies. Step 7, set projects and timesheets enhance project management and time tracking by organizing projects and implementing timesheets. Efficiently allocate resources, track project progress, and finalize resource allocation within your HRMS. Managing timesheets in Unova HRMS system is made simple with customizable settings. If you prefer efficiency, you can use default settings by selecting Yes, use default settings, which applies predefined configurations seamlessly. Alternatively, click No, change settings for fine-tuning various aspects of the timesheet process for more control and flexibility. In the Client Settings section, you can input essential details related to your clients and projects. This includes entering the client's name, contact person information, address and uploading relevant agreements. These settings ensure smooth communication within the organization when dealing with client-related activities. Project settings allow you to define key parameters for your projects. This includes specifying the project's name and start and end dates assigning a project manager, selecting the associated client, and describing the project's objectives. Billable option determines billing status. Additionally, you can upload project-related documents and specify team members involved, ensuring clarity and accountability throughout the project life cycle. Step 8. Set Exit Management Process Set up your exit or offboarding module to ensure a smooth transition for departing employees. Choose default settings or configure them according to your organization's exit offboarding policies. Opting for default settings applies predefined configurations effortlessly, including approval workflows and notice period settings. Alternatively, choosing to customize allows you to specify details such as notice period duration, resignation reasons, and withdrawal options. With intuitive toggle buttons and input fields, you can fine-tune the exit management process for efficiency and compliance. Choose default settings to apply predefined configurations when it comes to exit clearance and exit interview settings. Otherwise, customization for advanced options. You can enable or disable exit clearances and interviews, specify proof requirements, set timing, and control access to exit interview forms according to your organization's policies. 
effortlessly manage full and final settlements with default settings covering essentials like leave types, gratuity calculations, and notice periods. You can customize it further with options to fine-tune parameters like FNF templates, leave visibility, gratuity coverage, and notice period calculations. Generating exit letters is made easy with default settings. Default settings cover aspects like mail subjects, CC, BCC email addresses, and letter templates. Customization options allow adjustments to subjects, email addresses, and template selections. Ensure professionalism and adherence to standards in exit letter generation. Managing exit clearance departments becomes seamless with default settings covering department names, status, interview settings, and stakeholders. Adding new departments allows the customization of names and stakeholders for efficient handling of exit clearances within your organization. Step 9. Set company policies craft a bespoke organizational experience by setting company policies for security, leave attendance management, payroll, and employee benefits. Choose default settings or configure them to align seamlessly with your organization's values and goals. And there you have it. By following these steps, you'll have your Unova HRMS account set up and ready to go. If you have any questions or need assistance, leverage our resources given on the screen and make your Unova experience seamless as ever. Thank you for watching, have a great day.